Welcome back, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. It's Saturday right now. We're going to take a look at a couple of things. Number one is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is down quite a bit here in the last 12 hours. We're going to take a look to see what that actually means for us going forward. Will we continue to go down? I think that might be the case. We'll take a look at it, though. We'll also take a look at the miners, how they performed in May. We're going to grade them on eight metrics and six metrics like we always do. And we'll provide you with the top five miners for May as far as that's concerned. One thing to remember, though, Mawson has not provided their April or May uh, production updates yet. Sphere hasn't either, so those guys are going to be at the very end, tail end of all the results. Okay, but as always, you guys know the drill here. This is not financial advice for entertainment only. Please do your own research. And I'm investing in the following coins and companies for full disclosure. And if you enjoy this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe. Helps me out tremendously. So let's take a look at what's going on with Bitcoin here first. Bitcoin right now is down approximately 3.3%. It is down to 25,604. It's back down to where it was previously on Monday here. RSI, however, is looking like, uh, well, RSI right now is at 39. Last time we were at the, around the same, actually price was a little bit higher, RSI was lower. This, seeing this, the RSI going up, the price going down, it leads me to believe we're gonna be going down even further. Like I've stated before earlier this week, I think we're still gonna be going down to possibly to our support here at 23,800. Depending on how this all plays out with the RSI, if the RSI keeps, continues going up higher while price is going lower, I think we might be coming down to the 21,300 mark but we'll have to see on that one, okay? So be mindful of that going forward. I think it's gonna take a couple of days, couple of weeks before we get down that low. Uh, could take tomorrow before I know. You never know with Bitcoin, but the way the things have been uh, trending right now, you can see that it's taken us quite a while here since uh, pretty much almost a month to come down where we are right now. So I'm guessing it might take us another month to come down to this level, uh, if not this level down here. Okay. As far as Ethereum is concerned, we're seeing the same thing with Ethereum here. Ethereum is down quite a bit more. It's down 5.76% uh, to 17.35 right now. It is right now bouncing off of the 200 daily moving average, which is the blue line here. And we'll see how that one's going to react going forward, if it's going to bounce off of that. But it looks like right now the RSI has come down to 36. Last time we were this low was way back over here. Price is still higher at that point. So that's kind of a good time for Ethereum, but I think that we are going to be continuing to come down here as time goes on. Especially if Bitcoin comes down, Ethereum is going to come down as well. Okay, so that's it for Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, as far as updates are concerned. Let's take a look at the miners here as far as how they did in May. And we'll take a look to see which ones are the top miners. So always great amount of month over month hash rate growth. Current hash rate, uh, Bitcoins per exa hash efficiency, month over month BTC mine percentage and BTC mine for the month. Days they were mining, so uptime for that. HODL, and then BTC percentage sold, okay? And then we grade it all here, put it all together, and we have the total eight metrics and then the six metrics as well. So let's take a look at what we do have here for them. As far as month over month percentage hash rate growth, uh, higher is obviously better. Marathon came in number one, they grew 8.57% for their hash rate. Hive came in second with just 0.32%. Everybody else was pretty much flat in the month and uh, not much going on there. Uh, Iris, Digihost, TerraWolf, Cypher, BitFarms, DMG, Riot, Hut, 8, CleanSpark, Argo, pretty much flat. BitDigital was actually down 1.36%. Sphere and Mossender Report, so they're at the very bottom there. Current hash rate, Marathon uh, is obviously at 5.2x a hash, Riot at 10.5, CleanSpark at 6.7, Iris 5.5, and Cypher is at 5 along with BitFarms, so they're kind of tied here for the fifth spot, excuse me, as it is. Uh, but those are the top five right there for current hash rate. BTC per exa hash efficiency, obviously higher is better on this one as well. And you can see here Hive has done really good, 96.69. That is a nice improvement over April for them, well, for a lot of these guys here. And that's basically because of the network transaction fees that they were getting for May. That definitely helps out a lot there. Also, Hive does mine uh, with their GPUs, Bitcoin, so that also helps their efficiency as well. Okay, BitDigital also 95.13. They're always really good there along with Hive. Iris was at 92.21, really good there. BitFarms was a 91.75, CleanSpark was at 90.89. Those are the top five there, and you can see everybody else down below. Month over month, BTC mine percentage increase. So Marathon definitely increased their production quite a bit, 77.35%, followed by Iris. Iris also had uh, their full hash rate installed for the full month this time around, so that definitely benefited them quite a bit there, along with the transaction fees for all these miners. Taro was up 35.15%, BitDigital was 31.48%. Digihost was up 26.23, and then who else do we have here? But those are the top five right there. Everybody else is below that on that one. Okay, BTC mine for the month. Marathon is king here, obviously, with 1,245, followed by Riot at 676. Then you got CleanSpark at 609, Iris at 508, Cypher at 493, BitFarms at 459. So those are the top five, type six there. 
And then Days Mind, this is also a little tricky here because the transaction fees impacted um, their revenues. And I'm always gauging them by, um, well, we can take a look at it here. So I can explain this a little bit better. So if we're looking at HUT 8 here, we can see here, well, HUT 8 did actually curtail quite a bit here. Let's look at somebody that didn't curtail. Um, let's take a look at Hive. Hive, if you look at their numbers here for May, you can see here that I'm using all the miners that they have installed, how many days those are mining, based on the BTC that they provided as far as being mined, multiplying by the average Bitcoin price for the month. We got 8.376 million for them. I had to actually add for them, uh, for them, let me see here, that's March, where's May? I had to add 1.135 million extra in revenue for them to get to the 8.376 million based on my calculations here as far as where the network hash rate is, everything else combined. This has been pretty accurate for me in the past. So I know that they were under that with what they actually had here. So the increase was 1.135 million for them, 13.6% added into it. Uh, some of the other miners, like if we look at uh, Riot here, you can see Riot actually had to curtail. So if we look at May here, you can see that I have them at 27.6 days and then no added extra revenue was needed. But they did mine more, but because they did curtail, it did um, offset a little bit of the impact that the Bitcoin miners or the Bitcoin transaction fees would have had on their overall revenue. Okay, I hope that kind of makes sense. It's, I know it's kind of confusing there a little bit. Um, a lot of numbers there, okay? Uh, let's see here, monthly. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of what we're looking at here. So Iris, Bitfarms, Digihost, Hive, CleanSpark, BitDigital, uh, Cypher, TerraWolf, Marathon, all had 31 days pretty much fully installed. Some actually got a little bit less percentage increase from it. So they did curtail a little bit, but because of the BTC transaction fees helped them out tremendously to get them to basically being 31 days in operation, okay? Riot, came, uh, DMG at 30, Riot at 27.6 days, Argo at 27, and Hut 8, at 22. So Hut 8 has had the worst performance here as far as days being mined. HODL Marathon still is the king here, uh, 12,259, followed by Hut 8 with 9,233. And then you got Riot at 7,190. Then you got Hive at 1950, followed by DMG with 570. So those are the top five right there. And then BTC percentage sold um, based on how much they mined. What percentage did they actually sell? Marathon came in number one with 44.5% being only sold. DMG with 48.9%. CleanSpark with 77.3%. Riot with 88.5%. Bitfarms with 90.2%. Then we got Digihost, Iris, TerraWolf, and Cypher, or TerraWolf selling 100% of what they mined. Cypher actually sold more of what they mined. They sold 104%. Argo, 119%. Hut, 8 at 121%. BitDigital, 188%. And Hive sold 209% of what they actually mined. So they sold more than they mined, the ones that are over 100%. Moss and Sphere didn't report, so those are way up there in scores. So based on all of that information, here's how things stack up. On the eight metrics, which includes everything, Marathon came in number one spot. So Marathon is the winner for May, followed by CleanSpark with 35, Iris with 36, Bitfarms with 38, and Riot with 41. So those are the top five right there. And you can kind of see the rest of the how they all stacked up here uh, for the month being graded and with the points, okay? And then if we take a look at the six uh, metrics, which do, do not include HODL or current hash rate. Things are still pretty close to where they were, but now we have Marathon still being in number one spot, followed by Iris with 19, CleanSpark with 24, Bitfarms with 26, Cypher and TerraWolf being in basically the fifth spot, tied for the fifth spot. And then you can see here Riot went all the way down to 36 spots, so that's kind of like the death spot or something like that. 10th, 9th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, 10th spot for Riot. So quite a bit change here uh, when looking at not, not including HODL and uh, current hash rate. So that's the performance there for all the miners. You guys can take a look at all these here, pause it if you like. And then here's what we do have for them as far as individual scores, how they came in. So Marathon had a fantastic month here being uh, scored really, really well here as far as well everything except for BTC Prax, the hash efficiency. They came in average on that and that is mainly because of the growth is one thing and then also curtailing right they curtailed a little bit not much but they did curtail some the btc um, transaction fees helped out but that's definitely something that we've seen in the past with them as well then you got clean spark clean spark has done pretty well here um the only things that didn't work out great for them obviously btc hollow for them month over month btc mind and you can see the other scores as well then you got iris Iris, uh, also really good here. BTC HODL is the one that kind of hurt them, as well as BTC sold. 
followed by Bitfarms. Bitfarms, uh, Days of Mine, obviously number one here with a bunch of them as well. And then a couple of things, current hash rate is a little bit low. Uh, BTC hodled also kind of low there and month over month BTC percentage wise, okay? Following is Riot. You can see Riot obviously got hurt because of their BTC price hash efficiency and then the month over month BTC mine percentage growth as well. Everything else was really good here for them. Had those two been a little bit better, had they mined for a longer period of time, I think they would have placed a lot higher or a lot better in scores. And then you got Cypher here. Cypher's kind of middle of the board here as well. You can take a pause and look at over these. You got Hive. Here are the Hive results along with Terrawolf. Next is going to be Bit Digital. Then we got Digihost and DMG, followed by Hot 8. Finally, Argo, and then the last two are Moss and then Sphere 3D, which didn't provide anything. Okay, so that is it. Let me know what you guys think of all these metrics, numbers, and everything else. This is just kind of how I grade the miners to see how they're doing month over month. We do also a quarterly review on those guys, and then we also do an annual review as well on all of these at the end of the year. So it's nice to see Marathon finally getting to the number one spot after having a pretty rough couple of months uh, last year, and then obviously doing a lot better this year. So that's good to see. And obviously, I'd like to see Riot come in a little bit better on the scores as well, uh, especially if they can keep their uptime. I know that they curtail and they also get credits for that or get paid out from the electricity provider for that, which is fine, but still would like to see them improve on that. Um, but they have to obviously weigh the uh, numbers. Does it make more sense for them to curtail or to mine? And then I think once Bitcoin goes up in price, I don't know if they're also forced to curtail, which might be the case as well. So they really don't have a choice there as well. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, so that's it. Like I said, let me know what you guys think. As always, this spreadsheet is going to be available to my Patreon members. And I'm going to provide, um, I'll figure out a way to provide this to YouTube members as well, as far as the printouts of this. Okay, so that's it. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see what else we can talk about tomorrow. Probably miners versus Bitcoin and see whatever else happens. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next one.